Today we're speaking with Teddy Cruz, an urban theorist and designer. His work has been recognized with numerous architectural prizes, including the Rome Prize and the Sterling Memorial Prize. Originally from Guatemala, his San Diego-based practice, a studio Teddy Cruz, takes its inspiration from the cultural differences and similarities along the U.S.-Mexico border. On November 1st, Cruz was in Chicago, speaking at the 2007 L'Enfant Lecture on City Planning and Design, co-sponsored by the American Planning Association and the National Building Museum in Washington, D.C. Teddy, thanks for joining us. Thank you. You've been referred to as an urban theorist. Um, how, how is that any different, or is it any different, from um, an architect or an urban planner? Well, it's, it's ultimately a, a possibility of merging these uh, fields that have been compartmentalized, I think. I mean, the, the notion, I guess in, in a way I don't mind the word theories, because ultimately it's a way of engaging, for me at least, a way of constructing a critical act. Mm -hmm. And theory has also been compartmentalized as this canonical world, beyond, you know, away from the reality that's in the world. Of practice, and I think that in recent times, theory has been questioned as a way of maybe engaging a very different idea of practice. So, uh, this relationship of architecture, let's say, and urbanism, and mm -hmm. the emerging of them as we begin to re observe critically the, the, the conditions that construct the territory, mm -hmm. for me, uh, is essential. So, so, an urban theorist or an urban curator or an urban you know, researcher, I mean, the issue of more, more than anything is that. I think it's the issue of researching mm -hmm. once more the, 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 the very real uh, logics mm -hmm. that construct the territory. And in so doing, establish a position. I mean, I think that mm -hmm. we need to construct a position uh, that is very different in our time to deal with these conditions that continue to make our cities a, a kind of uh, shifting ground. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, so yes, yeah, so, so the, the urban theorist dimension I think relates more to that, less to the, the old definition of theory, but right. more the, the, the more active and proactive and kind of activist stand mm -hmm. towards, the, towards the city. Um, let's talk a little bit about your approach to community design. What inspired you to look beyond the design of the building to the design of the community and the elements that make up mm -hmm. the community? You know, the dissatisfaction with my own profession mm -hmm. and the dissatisfaction with the kind of cliches that we have shaped out of our institutions. Again, out of this categor categorical kind of division, planning here, urbanism here, landscape architecture. Mm -hmm. The dissatisfaction with architecture in a way that it has been just focused, my focus, my field has been focused on the hyper-aesthetic project, mm -hmm. let's say, form, style, the artifact, the object, the crafted sort of building, completely indifferent to the uh, logics again, to the kind of conditions that uh, 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 construct the ground, the kind of force field, which is the city, mm -hmm. economic processes, political processes, uh, the kind of life uh, uh, on the ground. Of, uh, the, 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 much of my research really centers itself on the in interpreting and observing the bottom-up dynamics mm -hmm. that, that emerge in the neighborhoods as uh, translated or mediated by community-based agencies. Mm -hmm. So in other words, a, 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 the, the hyper-aesthetic project of architecture has gotten away from the socio-political dimension, let's say. And this is also for all our institutions. Mm -hmm. And so when we think of community design, it's not again the kind of top-down idea that I'm as an architect want to design the community. But that, to, that I'm, I'm going to understand, in fact, instead, mm -hmm. the, the kind of conditions that are internal to that community. Mm -hmm. That from that, those conditions and kind of bottom up uh, process shape a very different idea of design, a very different idea of plan. So, so I, my shift from building, let's say, or from the obsession of building to the understanding of these conditions. Mm -hmm. right? I was inspired by my connection to Casa Familiar. And, mm -hmm. uh, its director, Andreas Correpa, who's an amazing activist, uh, and she uh, taught me so much about how, I mean, these agencies are incredibly sophisticated mm -hmm. and in, in, in inventing social agendas, political processes, economic 
structures that are alternative to the to the to the processes that we continue to employ in our institutions. Right? So I think that that yes, just like maybe somebody said in, in at some point, uh, instead of designing buildings, uh, I think that we should be focusing on designing conditions mm -hmm. and kind of reorganizing those conditions from which new ideas about design will emerge. So that's the but first, you need to sort of you need to intimately understand what the existing conditions are. It seems like right. you're describing a much more collaborative approach. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean to understand uh, the, the the forces, the conditions on the ground, mm -hmm. right? And that they have a particular logic that could destabilize, you know, our own preconceptions mm -hmm. and that could shape a very different idea of urban. 